Hello everyone, this is Akayim, and welcome back to some more Sins of the Prophets. And, let me tell you, this is great to be back. Um, let's go ahead and get this colony, this world, taken care of. And, here's some bit of bad news. I actually recorded this. And, when I get back, Fraps did not record my voice. So there's just a silent video going on. Sure, you hear all the gameplay, but you don't hear me talking, which I know everyone just likes listening to me talking. Um, so I'm having to do everything over once more. Um, so if I repeat myself, which I hope I don't. So, yes. Fantastic. Just what I want to do. Another recording of exactly the same stuff that I've done before. So enough complaining, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, we recently just built our assault carrier, and this is what everyone usually sees when they think about the Covenant. Imagine, is this assault carrier. This is uh, what normally you see the Prophets on, and there is a ship specifically for the Prophets. It's actually our Titan, which we will be building in just a little bit once we have more resources which we can actually buy more crystal we have gobs of money but just not enough all right sorry not crystals deuterium um yes all we need more is capital ship crew and some more uh deuterium and this is the profits assault carrier. Uh, this is going to be the most powerful ship in the game. It looks like we've conquered this world. So let's go ahead and get moving down to Hian. And we're going to try to keep these guys together uh, so that when they do arrive they'll all arrive at least at the same time to, so they, will, they won't die. Uh, which had a slight issue before. So unfortunately I am a little bit cheating on um, what is happening because I kind of know what has happened. And let's see, this world's done. Let's go ahead and get trade port. Let's go build a trade port here. And we're good on research. And that's being built. Good, good, good. We'll move this colonizer back there. Let's go check our fleet. Are they about to move? Yep, there they go. They're flying away. Flying away. Our fervor is unmatched. Ooh, we do need to build up some of our extractors. As quickly as we can. Let's keep up on our research. We don't want the nasty humans to get ahead of us and out compete us as much as possible. <clears throat> One thing I think would be cool is if you could actually send like go down like to the planets with an invading force uh, like they do in that one Star Wars game and now I can't think what that's called. Uh, Star Wars Empire Wars. Yes, that game. That would be really cool if you could actually have a mixture of the two. I, I highly doubt it's possible. Um, but have... Or or you could have it like uh, the Halo... Uh, Halo Wars? Where that was an RTS on a freaking console game. On a freaking console, which I thought was stupid. But that's besides the point. So basically have like... Halo Wars combined with um, this game, so then you, when you go to a planet, you invade, which may really um, decrease the um, ability to play a multiplayer because this can be played online. Um, so I know that would definitely make it harder for multiplayer, but I still think it would be fairly cool and we need more fleet 
spending money left and right, but like I said, we have gobs of money. We have over 13,000. Can we build? Now we need more credit. Okay. I think we can sell off. How much? Yeah, we could sell off a lot of our metal. We just have gobs of it. So this this is why it's nice to have this. And oh shit! Oh shit! Our journey is nigh. Get in there. <laughs> it's it's nice seeing how quickly um, they can destroy enemy fleets, and at least we have all our carriers together. So let's go ahead and group them up. Um, one thing I have learned uh, between the RCS uh, cruisers and the CCS is the RCS is more geared towards uh, being a carrier itself. It still does decent damage and has decent shields, but it's more geared towards having fighters and bombers. <clears throat> now, not as much as, uh, say, the actual capital ship, which is this one right here, Heretic's Demise, and it just got enough experience to uh, upgrade. It looks like we just cleared off everyone there. Um, so the RCS is going to be the carrier of the fleet. It's gonna only have... These are my elites. Oh, this is a CRS. Where's their RCS? There we are. There's the RCS. Class awaiting orders. Which has the bombers and the fighters of the fleet. And then these guys right here are our um, planetary assault vehicles. They're gonna work... They're gonna be the best ones to actually take out enemy planets which we will be going up against probably here soon not because I know what's about to happen no that's that's not the reason why Ooh, I need it. let's keep that fairly even Ooh, wow that's kinda nice so this right here this ability uh, just increases uh, the damage output on uh, planets so this will definitely help when we get uh, around to a world that we're going to destroy. Our and our fleet's building up um, really quickly. But I do All definitely want to get that Titan. The great Ooh, we can get it. The are at your can we disposal. start building it yet? No? Okay. Damn. This cannot be done. Oh wow, we just crystals. <clears throat> we just don't have enough crystals. Where is a world with a shit ton of crystals? Because uh, what we can do if we have a world that's like solely crystals. Asteroids. Oh, we just have a, a world that's just a lot of metals. This one has five crystals. To, er, sorry, deuterium. I'm, I'm used to the um, sins of a solar empire, and they're called crystals. I know, Brian, but that's what they're called. Oh, oh, and this is our first experience of going up against Forerunner uh, AI. Basically, large sentinels. Uh, they will guard Forerunner planets. Uh, the reason why they're here is these extractors right here. These extractors are basically a neutral uh, extractor, so anyone can capture them using the correct ship. And fortunately, they're being protected by these weak sentinels. Uh, there is another uh, larger sentinel that is much more deadly, and I really like this ship. I am I'm very curious where they got this from. Probably one of the graphic novels, I'm assuming. I can't say I've read them all, even though I am a huge Halo nerd. I can't say I've read every single thing. I have a lot of books on Halo. And that is actually the ship I want to see. 
this ship right here should be able to capture the asteroids. No, the other way. And there we hear the brute. How might I further our cause? Complaining. I remember when I was you being told uh, what Halo 2, that there was new enemies. If that and uh, the the buggers, the... the ancients grace us with oh, I can't think what they're called. Our faith will be rewarded. You stay there. Um, the person that was explaining me this new enemy made me think of like a stick annoying. insect. So I was imagining some giant stick insect hiding in the savannas. Because that's where he explained the area was going to be in the savannas, not actually in a city. And so I was imagining some giant in, uh, stick insect coming to attack you. So, and the brutes are just, I don't know. Brutes are okay. I just, I hate seeing the new enemies that just come out of nowhere. Because apparently the brutes were in the covenant the entire time. But they were, um, like, pushed off. They weren't in military. They were basically uh, workhorses of the Covenant until eventually they have pushed the enough that they the got into the military and whatnot. I might be pursuing the reason, but that's kind of the way I understand it. I'm going back to the ship a lot. Don't mean to, but here's our awesome assault carrier. Let's see if that capital ship, that Titan, is being built. Ooh, it is. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. I'm, oh, I'm nerding out here, geeking out. Our journey I love mine. the ship designs. All right, let's go back to our fleet. Stop orgasming no over that. <clears throat> Get away from the Turn off that freaking cloak. Because I want him to use the capture the extractor, and I don't think I have to research it. But I might be. I might actually have to. Let's get all this upgraded. Looks good, looks good. It doesn't look like I actually have to upgrade. No, I do need to work on this. The ancients grace us with their favor. This mm. cannot be done. Let's see. Orbital structure complete. There we go. There's more of our fleets coming in. Slowly but surely. What troubles occupy your thoughts? Let's go ahead and speed this up. Because I want to get our fleet in as quick as we can. And at the same time, where was that world that had a whole bunch of crystals? Is it you? Nope. Nope. It was this world, wasn't it? Let's get an extractor or refinery down. So we can get more resources, more resources, in as quickly as we can. Orbital structure complete. There we go. All right. This cannot be done. One of our enemies has See? finished the Titan. And there's the humans finishing their own Titan. I technically knew what was coming. And if you look at the market, you can see the price of metals is going up to purchase because we just flooded the market. Actually, I totally balls that up. No, that's the AI. Because, yeah, I, I totally balls up that explanation. That was not the right reason. It has nothing to supply and demand. Assault carrier at the ready. <clears throat> All our ships are coming in. Ow. Fear my grunty claws. 
Please. Oh, can I not? Can be captured. That's what I thought. <laughs> so his ability has been disabled by another entity's abilities. I don't know what that is. Ooh, there's a planetary cost reduction. Which is definitely going to be helpful. Let's see, is our Titan done? Ooh, it is. Oh, there it is. There's the Maybe piercing lance. Me. And wow. She is beautiful. Our faith will be rewarded. How much strength does she have? Let's see. Average energy protector damage of 800. Mine. Plasma torpedoes of 1875. Hand of the Hierarch. Being the will of the Prophet becomes a tangible energy. As more ships gather around the mighty carrier, the fleet grows ever stronger in lethality and longevity. The more ships surrounding the OAS, OAS, the stronger the fleet as a whole. Wow, really? Let's go ahead and get that. So that's going to be a little while. We're gonna actually send that ship over there because I will lead the assault. We're gonna send them all here I'll first. Go. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there's a world that's not bad, except for you. The devout stand ready. I just want you guys. How might we further our to go over there? Because I'm hoping this little corvette will actually go and. Capture all those extractors, which will definitely help us in the long run. Look at our beautiful little fleet. One thing I probably should have mentioned is when you're building ship, each fleet, uh, each ship actually costs a certain amount of fleet points. So that's why you always seeing me going back and getting more fleet supply and. So, oh yes, see, good thing we waited. Let's see this battle. And can't see anyone now that's happening. Just destroys them very, very quickly. See, this isn't too bad when you're going up get, going up against humans. Is when it's more dangerous when they're grouped together. So then they can focus fire down a single ship. Then they can become deadly cuz they can take out say this uh, salt carrier right Our here with one gone. strike. So that's one thing I don't like going up against these humans. Ah, oh, God, this game's so beautiful. Oop, someone upgraded. Looks like our heavy uh, cruiser just finally got upgraded, and sounds like someone else got. And I'm not too worried about colonizing. Don't think you really need to upgrade it. Past one. And there we go. Fully cleanse their planets. Now we can colonize, which we just have. We'll get it upgraded and going. And what I probably should eventually do is also explore the planets, which I might devote some resources into doing. Let's send them all up there. Let's go ahead and start exploring the planets. Ooh. Our what? faith will be rewarded. Where oh where is my little colonizer? This had better be worth my go. time. 
Send them way over there. Get it colonized. Let's get some of these other worlds explored. Because we really want to get a valuable uh, artifact. <clears throat> which that which can definitely help our empire grow and conquer. We await your orders. Oh, here they all go. Now the only one downside of this uh, movement of jumping all at once is it takes forever uh, for them to line up. But it's still really cool seeing them all getting lined up. Searching a planet has not there we go. found look, anything. Look at the size comparison. Searching between a that small uh, light cruiser and that Searching big heavy cruiser. A planet has not found anything. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get our I big assault. Our big uh, assault carrier, our Titan over here. And there's nothing here, really? Guess not. Actually, let's send them up there. And we'll have him just meet the fleet the when they arrive. That's not. Do we even. We have yet to. Yet to actually find any holy relics, which is a shame. Let's go ahead. Searching a planet has not Keep found upgrading. anything. Searching a planet has not I think, found is that anything. It? Is that really all the research? Searching a I mean, planet. I could do has probably do some of that, anything. but maybe in just a bit. It gets me every single time I hear that. It's hilarious. I love I love grunts. They're so funny. I feel so bad for them. Just look at our fleet going. <sighs> Are we missing a carrier? It feels like we're missing a carrier. Why does it? F Planetary improvement finished. Nope. Oh. I Why is the, the carry all the way over there? All in the name. Of the Probably because I stopped it from actually moving, or something stupid like that, which is more than likely what I've done. Let's see. I'm curious. And oh, do I not? Acting as a military, in process new effort military. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get these upgraded. These are for our um. Starbase, which we can eventually get. <clears throat> and I'm kind of curious what it looks like. I haven't got that far to actually try it, or to even look at it. Look at this. A little bit of slow down there. Our journey is nigh. Now I'm kind of curious if. How to get to the other star system because normally you would jump to this star and then Planetary jump to the other star. Oh no. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. So if you guys like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You will be seeing more videos. And you guys have a great day. Sai Jen.